Inside Seven series. We're here with Britt Ben from the Canada Women's Sevens team. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself, your family. Um, whereabouts in Canada are you located? Um, so right now I'm in the small town of Napanee, Ontario. Um, so basically uh, after, just before everything kind of went crazy there um, and COVID hit, I actually flew home and I've been home for the last two months. So um, living with your mom and dad at the age of 31 isn't, isn't, you know, everything I've ever dreamt of, but for the time being, it's been, uh, it's been pretty awesome spending time with them. And, um, yeah, you talk about, you know, humans being adaptable. I think that everyone's doing a pretty good job given the circumstances. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. And, you know, just super grateful for all those frontline workers and yeah. you know everybody that's exposed out there so i mean for the most part i'm just staying home and keeping busy awesome so before we get into a bit of rugby stuff um we're really really interested to hear about your firefighting adventures tell us a little uh, bit about it <laughs> oh God. um so i haven't i i went to firefighting school um october 2018 so that was like an eight week um, intense camp. Um, <laughs> I went from training with like 26 women to training with 26 men. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, it was like, it was, it was very, very different, but, um, no, it was, it was great. It was hard. It was like, it was probably about 12 hour days. And most of the day you had like a 50 pound pack on your back. So by the end of it, you know, I kind of felt like my spine was sticking out, but for the most part, um, it was it was an incredible adventure, and um, to have that certification under my belt too, you know, post mm. what was supposed to be post twenty twenty Olympics is now mm. probably going to be post twenty twenty one. But um, I actually just applied for volunteer firefighting in my hometown here, so um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's it was definitely definitely a big change of pace. I mean, it's definitely a, it's definitely like you know a, a team. A team sport um everything with firefighting is in pairs or in a team or you're out to achieve one goal one common goal um a little hotter but uh <laughs> <laughs> I it. yeah but for the time being everything's kind of on hold until this um rugby dream is, is <laughs> cool so um lockdown let's get into lockdown <laughs> what what's been your favorite part about lockdown <clears throat> Uh, I guess, you know, I get to spend a lot of time with my family. Like I, I, we live, you know, we're centralized 5,500 kilometers away from here. So, um, I haven't been able to spend time with my mom and dad like this in a very long time. You know, I've, we've, I've always come back and forth. I'm always the first one to book my, my, my plane home. Um, the girls always joke before the holidays are even booked that I have my tickets booked to go home. And see <laughs> um, so I think, yeah, I'd say my favorite, my favorite part is just spending time with them and, um, you know, like I think sometimes we take that for granted and, um, this, you know, all these circumstances have really made me grateful for, for family and spending that much time with them. So I'd say that's my favorite part. Oh, that's awesome. I guess you don't really realize how much time you spend away until mm. you're actually back home and like, no, not at all. Like usually, yeah. Like usually the most time we have is like last summer we had like three weeks, four weeks. And that was, mm. I was super grateful for that. But usually it's one week, two week, you know, mm. Christmas break. You guys know how it is. Yeah. You, you know, you go home for a couple, a couple weeks or whatever, and then it's back to the grind. So to spend this time and with them has, has really been, you know, a privilege for me and just super grateful to you know put in those hours a lot of hours but <laughs> <laughs> I guess on the flip side of that, can you tell us some things that you have probably I guess struggled with the most during lockdown um I think it's probably training alone um oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> yeah I'd say I'd say tr like training alone's been tough it's it's you know repetitive workouts and on your own and that's like comes down to your the gratitude part of rugby too, right? Like we never really knew what we had till it was missing, um, you know. And like I was, you know, I never like I was always grateful to train with the girls, but I didn't know I would be this grateful. Um, <laughs> you start having conversations by yourself, it becomes a bit problematic out there. But and I'm in, like I'm on the country roads too, so like I have my gym here and I do my running workouts, my speed workouts on the road, and you know it just like 
it just gets repetitive and, you know, you don't have anyone to joke to and, you know, yourself, you don't really become funny after talking to yourself. For a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd, say, I'd say that's the most challenging part, but, you know, we do Zoom calls with the team and, you know, tries to keep us motivated that way. But for the most part, I'd say, yeah, super grateful for, I'm sure you guys can relate to. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, um, I seen your little setup you got at home, your little <laughs> building, you a bloody yeah, and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. How to build? Like, <laughs> did you just teach yourself, or did you do it? Um, did you yeah, pretty- like my dad. My dad's been pretty handy his whole life, so mm-hmm. he's you know he's taught me here and there. And woodworking was something I always kind of just picked up, and I you guys have kind of seen what I've done with that, or. Um, <laughs> You know, like building lifting platforms and squat racks to bed frames to you know coffee tables it's just <laughs> you know some people read books and and <laughs> and some people build stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah like that's my <laughs> yeah. books and building yeah so so we don't know when we're going to be playing rugby on the world stage next which kind of sucks but we'll stick in there we'll be patient um what do you miss most about rugby Oh, honestly, I just, I miss like traveling and, and you know how it is like seeing different countries and, you know, spending that, that kind of time with your teammates too is, you know, and like game days. Oh, like I miss game days. I miss, you know, I miss day one. I miss day two. I miss the adrenaline rushes. And, you know, like I said before, we, we take things for granted too, right? It's just like, you don't realize what you're missing till it's gone. And now that it's been missing for quite some time now, I'm just, kind of a bit lost but you know like I said before the the team zooms or I don't know what you, if you guys know what zoom is but it's basically the same thing we're doing oh, right now gosh. yep we've been living on that yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so I mean that helps to see the girls and to know that everyone's in the same boat but at the same time it comes with its challenges too it's like what are we training next for and all yeah. that uncertainty with you know when's our next world series going to be and like you know and when you go into your training sessions and it's just like I don't even know like when we don't even have a goal like we don't, we don't know when the next test match is going to be we don't know when the next tour is going to be so um and with that being said all this like you know i was supposed to be wrapped up in july 2020 and you know heading on to the next chapter in my life so that's been uh, that's a big yeah <laughs> The OG for sure hang in for another year right you can do it you can oh Speaking of, uh, you speak a lot about gratitude um, when you speak of your team and rugby. What's, um, I guess, some other strategies that you've kind of used for your mental well-being during this period? Because, man, it's been tough. Yeah, I, yeah, it has been tough. And like I said before, especially the girls that had plans to, to move on for the next chapter, mm. um, I think that was my, bi- my biggest challenge. Um, you know, the first couple weeks once Olympics was announced, that was postponed, it was pretty tough. And I had a pretty rough couple weeks there, but um, I eventually adapted, came around and set some new goals. And I think it's just trusting the process, mm-hmm. you know, train, you know, train with, with purpose and, and trust that, you know, wherever this is going to lead, like everybody's going to be okay. And, you know, we will eventually be playing on mm-hmm. the world series again. It just takes time. Um, I also think, I would just try and think about other people and other players and everyone's in the same boat. So, um, you know, be blessed that you're healthy and, and, you know, train every day, like it's your last and, you know, <laughs> yeah. Taking some positive out, positives out of it. Um, this is the fun part. <laughs> the part that we're looking forward to. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, um, questions here about your teammates. Oh boy! Okay. You can be nice, but yeah, we, we like honesty here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your girl then. <laughs> Seven key questions for you. Um, the first one here: Who? Seven. 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 Oh, seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I was like, seventeen. I was like, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, first up, um, who in the team takes the longest to get ready? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's in the mirror the longest? <laughs> uh, I'd have to say she's probably gonna be offended. I need like a team list, but um I'd have to say 
Probably Charity Williams. Oh, yes, nice. <laughs> yeah. Like, are we talking like like we're going out, getting ready? Oh, it's just in general. Just in general. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably. Honestly, like, I'm not too sure, but I'd probably pick her. <laughs> Number two. Who okay. is the worst roomie and why? I don't, I've never really had a bad roomie. Okay. Like, honestly, like, in the world, on the Seven series, like, I usually have the same roommate, and it's Kayla Molesky, and she's awesome, because oh. we're both like, super OT, and it's easy. You guys yeah. have the same roommates? Like, you, you yeah, like, yeah, we don't usually, uh, sometimes we rotate, but, like, not not often. Like, usually the same people are paired together. <laughs> I'm just trying to rotate, but. Is she, <laughs> is she messy? I'm her favorite. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. So we, well, next question was who's the best roomie, but I, I assume it's. No, yeah, that's a good answer because I pretty much only room with her. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Um, this one's a bit of a um, throw them under the bus one, but you know, that's what we're here. We're here digging. Um, when you guys go out, which of the teammates is standing there going like this? Oh, man, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> oh. Honestly, I would just leave him on the curb anyway, so I wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say you better run back and get it because I'm not. <laughs> so I don't have an answer for you because that's exactly what I would say. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the best. Love it. Love it. <laughs> um, okay, this is the best. Who's the most competitive in the team? Harry Harder. <laughs> oh, 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 man. man. I don't even yeah. know. Like, I would say, I would say me, but like, <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> I think like, like Charity's pretty like hardcore too. Like, what about um, uh, is it Paco? Yeah, Paco. Oh yeah, yeah. I changed my answer. It's it's Paco. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I noticed that if I heard you explain it like fourteen minutes ago. So then, yeah, like you know. You know the game where like you're you're in the pool or whatever, and then there's like a shark, and then it's like you jump out, and there's like fish out of water, or whatever. Like she like drowns you. <laughs> so yeah, she's, 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 like everybody is literally terrified for their lives, like petrified, petrified. Like when Karen's in, it's like everybody just jumps out of the pool because we don't care. It's definitely a close a close run between Karen and Charity for sure. No, <laughs> All right, um, this one's a funny one because it's also my mate. Um, oh, who's, who's the coach's pet? Who's that one sitting in the front row always asking? Oh. Who's the Can't do any wrong. <laughs> like the one, like the person that's always putting up their hand to answer? Yeah, just like the one that the coach is always like, okay. oh, good work, Stace. You know, like, oh. <laughs> You know, it's definitely best. not me. So. <laughs> um, oh gosh, we, I, I think yeah, I think Miss Jislan Landry for sure. Oh, cool. <laughs> Good old Jis. Good old Jislan. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Um. The last one's pretty cool. Um. Tell us something interesting about some of your teammates. Well. Kaylee Lugan's a really good basketball player. Oh yeah, yeah. She, um, yeah. yeah she she will crush you in a game of bump. <laughs> and then, um, well, Caroline Crossley and Pam just raised fifteen thousand dollars for um, Victoria, BC, for for like a help relief fund, basically. Um, for, you know, for families that didn't qualify for um, any other financial support, so. They created this page and ended up raising fifteen thousand dollars, which was unbelievable. And on top of that, they're training and you know, living their everyday lives. So that was that was pretty incredible. Um, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Karen just bought her own house, so that's that's oh, yeah. cool. a big girl that move, and and that's in Quebec. So she actually took um, she drove her U-Haul across Canada during COVID and slept in the U-Haul. With her. Yeah. Wow. yeah, that's interesting. That takes, you know, talk about competitive. That girl was on a mission. 
if you could, I guess, if you could leave us with a message or you got anything to say to the people out there during this time, just before mm. we wrap things up, what would um, like, message from yeah, just stay safe, stay healthy. Um, you know, be grateful and blessed that you're healthy. And um, yeah, it's just, you know, we're all in this together. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you girls back out in the pitch there and on tour. <laughs> you know, I, I can't, I can't wait to hit you. Like, <laughs> I'm sure the feel is mutual, but you know, like, thanks for thanks for calling and catching up too. Like, you know, small gestures like this go a long ways, and it's nice to see you know two familiar faces on the circuit as well, and you know, just to know that we're all in this together. But yeah, thanks again, guys. This is awesome, and I ha I had a good laugh, and I, am, I apologize for exposing my teammates, but. Uh, yeah. I, 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 definitely, I definitely think I could have done worse. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. let's all just let's take a moment and be grateful for, <laughs> for, for the PG rated version of, of this show. Okay. Love it. Oh, thanks. We've enjoyed our time with you, Brett. And okay. See you, see you guys. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>